tempting, isn't it? That lure of a deep night's sleep. I can tell you're tempted by it, and yet struggling to fall into its dark arms. You see, now is the time that you need to make a simple choice. However, you may be struggling, which is why I'm here to convince you to fall into that deep, tempting night's sleep. So now I just need you to commit to wanting to fall asleep. Because there will be a part of you that is very, very tempted to close your eyes right now. But by listening to all of this, tonight, you'll be able to develop the tools to switch off. And that's what we all need to do, isn't it? So, assuming that you are highly tempted to sleep, I ask you now to remain fully committed listening just to my voice. I need you to switch off from everything around you. We don't live in a silent world. We'll never be in a completely silent room. So we need to learn how to simply switch off from everything around us. And we can do that by going into our own special place, our own dark mind palace. Now you may be familiar with mind palaces in terms of memory. However, tonight we're going to utilise them for sleep. Have you ever entered a mind palace before? They can be very helpful things. Shall I tempt you inside? Good. Now your mind palace can be whatever you want it to be. Picture a corridor, if you will. Picture how it's decorated. This is the place just for you. This is just your space, and it's going to be your tool to learn how to sleep every single night. Now down this corridor, as you slowly walk along, you'll see different rooms. And on one side of the corridor are all the rooms filled with all the wonderful things that sleep can bring us. And on the other side of the corridor are all the things stopping you and falling into that deep, deep night's sleep. So, which side do you want to enter first? The sleep side? Or the not sleeping side? The 
sleeping suit. Good choice. So when we think about sleep, our mind tends to start with thinking how we're actually going to fall asleep. And that allows our mind to stay awake and alert. But if we start off with the wonderful way in which most sleep begins, in bed, cosy and warm. So I want you to focus mainly on the emotion that the comfort of being in bed brings you. Think now about your comfortable mattress, every element of the bed. Do you have just a sheet, blanket, duvet? Think about your pillows. Just one, two, three. Hard or soft, fluffy or squishy. Think about what you're wearing to bed. Think about all the level of comfort that that initial stage of sleep brings you. Because there is no other time in the day where you can just dedicate to just you. Just this moment. Think about how special this moment is. How tempting it is to just get into bed, switch off your phone, your devices. Just focus on the simple things, the comfort levels. Think about how comfortable you are how comfortable you've always been when you've got into bed. Think about how lucky you are to experience that level of deep, deep comfort. Because it's special. Because you're special. And that's the thing about sleep. There is no set formula. There's no right or wrong. But just focus on that first room filled with all that comfort. Think about what the level of comfort brings you. Peace of mind, a state of complete and utter stillness, not having to think about anything or anyone, just thinking about the bed and the pillow your clothes, just basking in the warmth of your bed, a space that's safe, that's just for you, right here, right now, not thinking about anything else or anyone. Just your level of comfort. And now let's slowly walk out of that room, closing the door softly behind us. Good. How did it feel, Axis? Good. How did it feel? 
being able to just access that set of emotions. Excellent. And I imagine it made you feel even sleepier. Thinking about that level of comfort. And that was all achieved just by entering your very own sleep mind palace. So now let's enter another room. Perhaps a room on the other side, but I'll let you pick which one. Room one, two, three, four, room number two. May I come in with you? Thank you. So as you open the door, you'll see that room number two represents something negative that you feel when you're laying there struggling to sleep. And this represents the mind and body in a more restless state, a state of discomfort and stress, and a state of not knowing whether you'll be able to fall asleep and stay asleep. This is a busy state of mind room, a room full of confusion and negative emotions. How's it making you feel right now to be inside that room? Mm. And it makes you feel almost anxious to even think about stepping into this place because this is the place that almost fills you with fear. And sleep should never be associated with anything negative. You're completely capable of shutting off all of these doors on the negative side and focusing completely on the other good side. But we need to think about why you feel these emotions. So picture yourself just sat in the middle of this room, thoughts floating above you, creating a visual representation of how you feel. It's quite difficult to come to terms with this now. This feeling of confusion, not knowing why you can't sleep, it raises your stress levels unnecessarily so. Sleep whilst a relaxing thing is all about control and you have the complete ability to just switch off any of those negative feelings. So let's take one and pull it down in the room as if it's floating in a little speech bubble and look at what that emotion says. something like anxiety, stress. You are completely not alone. Sleep is one of the things that can cause so many of us a great level of stress. But when we begin to recognise the triggers as to why we're not sleeping, we can start to change the patterns of behaviour. I want you to simply you have an imaginary pin and just to pop that little speech bubble. And once you've done that, go around the rest of the room and pop the rest. Pop, 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 pop. 
and take a deep breath in and out. You see, switching off how you feel isn't as easy as putting a pin in something, but it does give you that level of control. Think about all of those lovely things that we thought about in the first room, on the good side. That level of comfort, warmth, not having to think about anything else. And now think about your negative room. Which room would you rather be in? And which room, if you were given a key to lock away forever, would you lock? Seems a pretty easy choice when you put it like that. And it's certainly not hard to be tempted into the good rooms. But it's slightly more difficult to lock away the bad ones. But this is a journey, so step out of that room and let's enter a good one. Again, I'll let you choose, it is your mind palace. Mm Mhm. Let's step on in. So this room is filled with your lovely dreams. That state of complete euphoria where you can enter this dream state, switching off entirely from reality and allowing yourself to enter this dream world where anything and everything is possible. Picture yourself in one of these happy dreams and look at your face. Look how happy your face looks, how at ease you look, well rested. In your dreams you can be anyone you want to be, but you can only achieve that if you allow yourself to initially enter that dream state by sleeping. Dreaming is a special thing and it allows the mind to be playful. It may pull from events in our daily life, or from complete fantasy. And when you go to bed relaxed and calm and happy, you dream happier and calmer, more playful, allowing yourself to just completely relax. Have fun in these dreams. Be who you want to be, because you can be anyone in your dreams. You can do anything, travel anywhere. But this can only be achieved when you enter this sleep state. And you want to enter this sleep state, don't you? You do. Because sleep is what you need what everyone needs to just escape, relax, and stay calm, focused, energized. And you can do this so, so easily. So easily. So easily. So Just think about that negative room, and again, where would you rather be? In the room where you could be anyone you want, or in the room filled with negativity and stress? Because at the end of the day, sleep is all about making choices, and you're going to make the right choice, the choice that's best for you. But we both know what's best for you. And that's sleep. 
good sleep, restful sleep, deep sleep. Sleep where you wake up and feel refreshed and rested, recharged, ready for the day. Because that's what you need, isn't it? You need to sleep. You need to enter this dream state. You don't want to open any more of the negative doors. You want to be able to control your mind palace. Control your sleep. Just control what you need to control. Because you're capable of that. Everyone is. Now we better enter a negative room because this is a process. So as you walk out of the room, let's enter another slightly negative one just to see the difference. Mm hmm Let's go. So, in this room, as you'll see, it's, it's very dark. You see, this is the, uh, this is the nightmare room. And it's not as scary as it sounds. This is just the state of your mind in the middle of the night, when you're laying there, not sleeping. So in contrast to the dream room, where you're allowing your mind to just be playful, in this state, you're allowing your mind to hyper-focus. So you're focusing on all of those negative emotions, but at about ten times more. You're thinking about all the things that have happened during the day, maybe the past week or month. You're thinking of anything bad that's happened. And you're thinking about all the times where you're laying here, just as you are now. You don't have to feel this way. Sleep is something so simple. You can achieve sleep. You don't have to enter this state of negativity and stress. How does it make you feel lying there, distressed, night after night? When you can just choose to just switch off. Choose to stop. Choose to breathe. Choose a new start in your sleeping routine, in your habit, breaking habit. Because you want to break the habit, don't you? Because you are in control. You know that you can get to this state of relaxation, this state of calm. Come out of the room. You have a choice. Either side of you is a choice, always. And in life it's just the same. You see people down the street that pass you on a daily basis. They may be feeling just the way that you feel. And sleep often stems from other issues that we may be having. That's okay. It's okay not to be okay, and it's okay not to always be able to sleep. This level of pressure that you put on yourself, you don't need to do that. You just need to allow yourself this time to repair, to relax to refresh yourself, because you deserve that. You deserve calm and relaxation. You deserve to just melt away and just 
melt away and just relax because when you choose to relax you choose a better self a better version of you a brighter, happier version not having to worry about anything not having to decide which way to go just knowing the right way to go because what you want to do is you want to sleep, don't you? because you're tempted by all of the good rooms and not the bad rooms it is tempting to just self-indulge and lay thinking about all the negative things but what's even easier is to just switch off and think of all the good things that sleep bring us all the calm things all the things that make you feel good in the morning and you want those, don't you? you do, you want to be able to sleep you want to be able to feel better and you will you will be able to shall we just take a little walk towards the end of the corridor mm-hmm. you lead the way at your own pace at the end of the corridor there are two doors one door is the door to a better, more productive night's sleep and the other door is a door that leads to the pattern that you've currently been living with so, like with many things in life now's the time to choose and you have a choice to change but that's your decision to make So what are you going to choose? The door that potentially could lead to many, many a good night's sleep or the situation that you've currently been living in It's tempting to go back to the old ways perhaps easier than to change, to work on something but I think you're better than that and you know you're better than that because you are better than that, aren't you? I think you should choose to sleep because you want to choose to sleep, don't you? Choose sleep So what's it going to be? Good. And as you go through the door, just bring yourself to this present moment. This present time where you are just relaxed, comfortable, comforted. You're in bed and this is your time. You can lock away any of those darker mind palace doors whenever you want. Choose to feel freer and more in control. You're capable of that. You're capable of so much. Choosing sleep is much easier than choosing to stay awake because you're choosing to change you're choosing to feel better and you want to feel better, don't you? otherwise you wouldn't have clicked you chose to switch off you chose to change the moment that you clicked onto this you've already made your choice I'm just simply showing you the different options Within every person is the ability 
to sleep and you need to realise that you're not alone in not being able to sleep. So now let's just take a deep breath. Well done for making the choice tonight. Choosing seems so easy. Actually doing can be harder, but you're capable. So capable. Of change for the better. Feeling how rested you can become. And now let's look at yourself in two different lights, after sleep or no sleep. Let's start off by looking at yourself during the day with no sleep. How do you feel? Agitated? Anxious? Lacking the ability to function properly? Better? Seemingly a little bit stressed? easily agitated by others, making the wrong choices, or the easy choices that perhaps aren't the right ones. Going home at the end of the day feeling deflated and tired, and ready to begin the circle again. Doesn't feel good, does it? It's not right. And then think about yourself in the light of day after a good night's sleep. Look at how you're dressed. A little bit more well presented. You've taken care of yourself. Had a good breakfast. Smiled at a stranger on your commute. Woken up with a new, fresh attitude. Revived, ready for the day. Making smart, accurate decisions. Not having to sacrifice anything. Going home feeling like you've achieved something more productive. Enjoying your evening and looking forward to getting into that place of rest and relaxation. Again, which would you choose? It's easy to just say, but it's harder to do. And yet I think you're very capable of achieving just that happy side. The side that makes you feel better, inside and out. And you want to feel like that, don't you? More in control. Freer, happier, healthier. More productive. Rested. Relaxed. Free. Sleep is your time, your special time, your time to just switch off and relax. So now, finally let me ask you, how tempted are you to sleep? Well, in that case, I think it's probably time to switch off, don't you? Okay. Good night.